Hi, welcome back to another Terranscapes Rapid Fire Critique. Um, I tend to give too long of intros, so let's just jump right in. All right, so we're looking at a piece from Draclith, and um, let's uh, start taking a look at it. All right, now he sent a lot of photos, and uh, maybe too many, but he's got a lot going on here, so maybe that is uh, worthwhile in the sense that um, you know there's quite a bit to review. Okay, I'm going to try to be on topic here. You know me, I tend to go a little astray. So luckily I've seen these already, so let's see if I can be succinct. Um, first, fun to have a door open. I like that. Probably more important for role-playing. Great emblem here. That is a fantastic little addition. Nice door in the back here. Interesting choice in a different stone for the door. Um, we have various floor inserts, and I like this uh, stairway going to the level below. That's nice. Gives that room a lot more flexibility. I like some things that are going on in the stonework. Um, you know, you've, you've got some sort of rough-hewn look here, which, which could be improved a little bit with some more detail, but you've got this little speckle pattern here that gives it like a, a worn, uh, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, um... Uh, what is I'm looking for? Adobe, you know, or, or cement, or, you know, or smooth stone that's eroded. So I like that. This is interesting here, and this is something I suspected, is that um, you can swap out maybe these pieces for a different theme or, or um, for storage, and that's nice. Um, so I like the speckle. This is nice. Uh, let's see here. We'll go a couple more. All right, we're going to stop here for just a second since this shows all of the variations of the floor. And let's talk about each one. Um, first, this is nice. I like this. Man, it's bright, but it's eye-catching. Um, and if I were to think about any improvements, I might go in in between these bright areas and bring them almost up to a white in some areas. Um, that's a really nice way to get it super, super hot. The other thing would be um, to feather these edges a little bit, right? So it's not quite so strong a temperature uh, drop off from these. But um, nice, uh, it, it's got a wonderfully evocative feel and um, it's, it's wonderful colors, it so pops. But um, a little softening and a little white in the middle, that would make a difference. For this floor, oh, I love that little railing, that's fun. Um, I would go with a darker, more mm, hmm, heavier green uh, black for the algae on this spot. I think it looks just a little too fresh and maybe just a little too blue for the um, kind of effect I think you're going for, which is sort of an algae-ish uh, pattern, maybe because it's over the water, let's say, for instance. And uh, fun to have a little insert to fill that up, too. Love that. I just love that. The um, water here, hmm, well, you know water is tricky. Uh, and I think that at the very least, I would put several layers of gloss coat over this. I think that would help this a lot to look more like water. And much like the lava, I think if you could feather some of these transitions, that would make a big difference. Um, and you might be able to do it with some washes, right? If you had a, a, a wash that's somewhat in between these two colors and you could, um, hmm, well, it depends on what this material is and how porous it is, but um, that might be one way to do it. An airbrush would certainly help, but you know, not everybody has an airbrush, so that's okay. Heavy gloss coating and maybe deepen this color or take this algae look, right? It's dirty water and carry it out a little further, unless this is a whirlpool, in which case maybe this whole system kind of works the way it is. One other thought I had is that um, if you had a more interesting pattern in the brickwork here, that would add a lot. Now, of course, that's maybe game mechanics dependent, so it might not be possible. But even if you had these like staggered so that, you know, they're not all lined up just like this it adds a lot visually to the piece and i think you would find it um you know it helps a lot more like like having the uh, the stairs staggered for instance if that gonna, is going to work for game mechanics uh let's see here a couple more real quick before we run out of time um, 
You know what? Here's another thought. Um, see, I've got this green algae here and um, here. Carry it over the lip. Give it a sense that it's water pooling and dripping down. That would um, help to tie it into this edge and not make it look quite as artificial. I mean, it doesn't look bad. Um, but also, let's see here. Here, I don't see you've colored this with the stone, which you've done here. So I would go in and bring that to match this. Ooh. All right. Where that would help uh, to tie, you know, this piece in with this piece and make it look like when you remove the center piece, that it doesn't look like you've removed something, basically. And love the fact that you can... Oh, wait, there's one more I wanted to look at. I know I'm over. That's okay. Hold on. There we go. This is fun. Oh, and I can kind of see why you had that little spot in the middle there for this uh, this little island, which is another addition. So flexible. This piece is so flexible. Love that. This is fun. I love this. Oh, my gosh. And I think you have like a little mirror in here to see the reflection of the curve. That's nice. What a wonderful way to just make a simple insert. You don't have to paint and adds a lot of depth to this, right? It looks like we're going in absolutely fantastic i'm gonna look at one more photo uh, before i wrap it up because i'm curious how did you how are you making this little this little insert for it oh i see it is carried through here so the door is removable nice here's the thought this stands out from everything else in this piece but it's nice to have the contrast if you took this color and you added it to the pillars and you added it to um, the trim on this door on both sides and maybe even if you um, did a frame of, of a similar color that would go around this it would make this relatively large gray palette break up quite a bit and I think you'd find it would add a lot visually to this so not too long over um, don't look at the monitor Hopefully, <laughs> you found something here helpful, and I just want to thank Dracolith for sending this in. It's always wonderful for me to take a look at somebody else's work, and um, hopefully I can offer some suggestions and, of course, some encouragement. It's fantastic. Everybody's starting somewhere. I love the versatility of this piece. That alone should inspire people. Wonderfully flexible. So, good job. All right, so stay tuned. Um, to the channel because I've got another rapid fire coming up right after this and we'll see how many I can uh, get out in the uh, new before the new month um, but even if I don't there'll be more spilling over into November so thank you once again for joining me hopefully you will come back and see the next rapid fire critique because you know I'll be back soon with another Terrence Gibbs video